Really like what we've put together with the Mountain Star one person, two person tents. They've got some unique designs and features specific for the mountain hunter. Really got into this design and wanting to put a tent line together because we couldn't find exactly what we wanted. Uh, there are a lot of good tents out there, but nothing quite like what we designed and developed. And it really began with a relationship with Easton. And Easton puts together the finest tent poles in the world. Challenge with Easton tent poles is they're very expensive. Our business model allows us to run their poles unlike others uh, because we don't have the retail markup in our pricing. We can still get a carbon pole tent out at a reasonable price and felt like it was a good match for Kuyu. Mm -hmm. Easton thought it was a good relationship and we could add a lot of value to our customers. And I think great place to start, Sean, because it is a differentiator is, is the tent pole. The poles are your foundation of your tent. I mean, it's probably the most important, important feature in your tent. It provides the structural support uh, for the tent. Um, in trying to source a, a pole for this tent, as Jason said, we went out, uh, reached out to Easton and, um, and came up with, uh, we were looking for a tent pole that uh, was strong enough to be able to withstand uh, these high mountain expedition hunts, but still light enough that uh, you could make an ultralight backpacking tent. And they suggested carbon. Um, carbon uh, poles have the highest strength to weight ratio uh, available, uh, much more so than any aluminum pole that's available right now. Uh, specifically, we chose the larger diameter, um, carbon, the custom carbon 6.3 size. And with that larger diameter, you get the, the stiffness um, adds a lot of strength to the, uh, to the pole, and uh, that, that equates to a high load carrying cap um, capability and, and good wind resistance. Carbon fiber uh, tent poles, when you use them in this application, they have some really uh, unique dynamic loads that go on them. You're bending this pole and then the wind is, is shuttering the, the pole and, and puts some unique loads on it. So the Easton engineers, um, they're, they're an arrow manufacturer. They could very easily take arrows and just make tent poles out of them, but they figured out they couldn't. What they had to do is create a whole different internal build to these, uh, these poles where they used uh, unidirectional fibers and then wrapped with uh, um, carbon fiber on the outside and um, built these poles that are, they're as strong as their really large diameter aluminum mm -hmm. poles, um, but at a fraction of the weight. So it's a perfect choice for the Mountain Star. So you see this is kind of a unique uh, pole design that we have here. Um, we moved the poles to the outside of the fly and came up with a, a design where they're actually installed parallel into the tent and then they cross over to make a a hoop or a double intersection, and then a horizontal roof truss across the top. And it's a really strong design for heavy winds. And also having the external poles makes this tent incredibly easy to set up. The, yep. the easiest to set up of any tent that I've ever had by far. Yep. And Go, sure it goes up in just, uh, yeah, just a matter of a couple minutes. Absolutely. And so we've paired these really strong poles with uh, a number of attachment points, a large number of attachment points to distribute the pressure on the fabric and have come up with a really, really robust um, pole design for the outside of the tent. We use quick clips. Um, so you're able to just quickly clip this tent up and onto the pole structure. We have uh, four robust clips that are gonna help pull together the intersection points and keep them nice and stable. The tent has uh, six different points on the base of the tent that can be staked into the ground and then uh, four guy lines, two off of each end. And we actually include stakes with this, with this tent and we include uh, the Easton Nano stake. You get a close up of Really robust stake, really light. Yeah, really lightweight. Really We're strong. We're at a quarter ounce each for these, so 2.8 ounces for yep. the 10 of them that are included. So, and the guidelines, like Sean said, do come installed with a, uh, a, a part that allows you to have a t basically a tension lock tension on your... Tension on the end, yeah. On the end, yep. Absolutely. And then you're going to have uh, your other two points besides the guidelines and the corners are going to be your, your vestibules. We, we call this a robust three-season tent. And pull structure-wise, you would consider this a four-season tent for the stability and the load-carrying ability of the, of the structure. Uh, what doesn't allow us to call it a four-season tent um, are a couple things. One is uh, the fly does not drop all the way to the ground. And then the other I'll show you, we have internal mesh that uh, versus a breathable fabric. So, uh, which wouldn't keep snow from coming into the bathtub part of the, of the floor. But um, 
other than that, structurally, it's it's a four season tent, so it's going to take high winds and bad weather incredibly well. But we're not going to give up the breathability that we do with a four season tent. We ran uh, a, a program through Torre, who's most of you are familiar with. We do a lot of business with Torre because they make the best technical fabrics in the world. They developed uh, this fabric called Airtastic, which is 100% grade four nylon fabric. It's a 10 by 20 D ripstop on the exterior of the, of the, of the tent, which is really light. It's really, really strong and tear resistant, makes it absolutely beautiful tent fabric. No other tent fabric I've seen that we tested compares to what Tori's put together on the Airtastic program. Um, inside of this tent, on the, on the floor, we're running a 30D Airtastic fabric which is gonna give us more durability and abrasion resistance because the floor is gonna take more abuse. And we, we run a bathtub floor, so we're gonna have the walls that come up fairly high in this tent that's gonna give you weather and, and wind protection. Um, it's also gonna keep spin drift from snow blowing in. We run a 15 denier mesh fabric on the inside of the, of the tent that's gonna keep bugs out. And it's also gonna help uh, keep some warmth in, but allow for maximum breathability. Um, as you're gonna see in the upper part of this tent, uh, we do have ventilation on both sides of this tent, so you're going to get nice cross ventilation. One thing you're going to see when you use this tent is the lack of condensation you get, and that was a big focus for us. Condensation is a problem when you're hunting Alaska, Northwest Territories, and if you're snowed in for a number of days in wet conditions, condensation can absolutely soak the inside of your tent and all your gear. Something that we really stressed on our designs was to, to help eliminate that. One thing that's nice about these, uh, these ventilation openings also is they're accessible from the inside of the tent. So if it starts getting yep. windy and rainy out and you need to close down, you can actually do that from inside of your tent. Yeah, there's a of getting out. small zipper that opens up and there, mm -hmm. it's what we call a kickstand style vent opening and you can just drop these things down. And so if you've got bad weather, you can go ahead and close the vent system. Good. Um, so let's take you inside, inside of this tent. So we've got a, a really robust bathtub floor. Like I said, the sidewalls come up um, all the seams are, have been taped in this tent, so you don't have to seam seal your tent. Um, you're going to get a watertight uh, seam sealing right, right from the factory. We run all Duraflex hardware. All of our zippers are YKK zippers. Something else to notice on this upper fly is it's a double head zip, so you can use the tent fly to ventilate as well. So lots of options for, for making sure that you've got a lot of airflow in the tent. A couple other things on the inside. On the two-person tent, there's actually four mesh pockets in there where you can uh, put your headlamps, things like that you don't want on the ground. You find them here in the night. corners. Yep. And then uh, there's webbing loops up on the top so you can rig up a, a, a suspension system to hang uh, clothes off of to dry at night. The two-person tent comes in at a total weight of three pounds, 5.5 ounces, and that includes the fly, the body, the poles, the guy lines, and the stakes, the 10 stakes that I mentioned before. You can buy just a floor for this tent. It allows you, like we talked about, this is a double wall tent. The inside can quick clip out, so you, it is removable. Um, and you can run just the footprint, which allows you to go you know, ultralight, minimalist. If you're not worried about bugs or bad weather, it's a, it can be a good way to go in, like on a summer hunt. Yeah, and you can be all the way down to two pounds, uh, nine ounces with just the, the footprint, or you can actually run this with just the poles and the fly at yep. uh, two pounds, four ounces. Okay. So. Get into length, 84 inches on, on the two-person model, so seven feet. Um, not too many guys that aren't going to fit in that height. We've got a tent width of 49 inches and a height of 39 inches. And so it's plenty of height that you can, you can sit up uh, straight from your sleeping yep. bag. You've got plenty of headroom. And the length and the height are very similar between the one and the two-person. So um, let's go over... One more thing, let me cover the square feet of, of area in the, in, the, in the body. The tent body here is 28.5 square feet, and vestibule area is 9 square feet. And this one actually has, you're going to say it too, yeah, two, two vestibules, vestibules yep. and two openings. Over to the one-person tent, you're at 2 pounds, 9.9 .9 ounces. That includes the stakes as well. Um, this model only has a single vestibule on the one side. It has a smaller vestibule. On the other side, that's not nearly as big, but still, you can still put things like a, a bow or gun or smaller items in there. Um, so you're at two pounds, 9.9 .9 ounces for this. Um, the footprint weight on this is uh, just over two pounds. 
and you're well under two pounds if you just run it with the fly and the, and the yep. poles. Yep. And then price-wise, we're at uh, $399.99 on the one person, and then the two person, $449.99. When you look at price on these tents, and if you do your homework on carbon pole tents, especially carbon poles that are made by Easton, they're great value for the money on these tents, especially look at the pole design, the poles, the fabrics. And then our tents are made by the finest manufacturer in the tent business, Tai Chung Canvas. It's made in their Vietnam factory. Tai Chung's been around since 1956. They produce tents for all the top mountaineering brands mm -hmm. and Easton made the introduction so we could uh, get into their factory to help and design and build our program with them. And uh, you look at the combination of, of Easton, Torrey, and Tai Chung, second to none. Tai Chung's been amazing to work with. They've yep. been absolutely incredible in the whole development process. So Yep. And so uh, we're really excited about this program and I think we've covered just about everything. Covered a lot, yeah. 